the gold cube. I'm going to show you today how the gold cube works. This is one of the machines that we use for our final cleanup. And this type of machine you would use if you had uh, maybe a big sluice or a wash plant of some sort, which is giving you lots and lots of cons when you're done high quantity of cons. You wouldn't use this machine if you were panning and just had maybe a handful of dirt. Um, this, this runs through volume, volume quickly. Now, I don't have much today for you guys. I've only got a pan full of cons here we're going to run through because we have lots of other stuff we have to get done. So we're just going to run a little bit today and show you how this works. Very important for the gold cube that the material is classified down to really, really fine stuff. You can't throw anything through here that's bigger than one eighth. It has to be classified eight minus in here. Now, I happen to have this stuff classified a little finer than that. This is 16 minus, but it'll work for today's demonstration. The gold cube is like a sluice box. Uh, water is running down over a matting, and that matting is catching the gold. But it has a few other features in it that make it a little bit better for catching the gold. This matting here is called rough top conveyor belt matting or vortex matting. Um, very, very good at catching fine gold. Very, very good at it. Also, the way that the gold cube is set up, when the material goes down in, it goes through this little trough and actually has to go underneath a little bar. There's a little bar that sits in here. It has to go underneath that. So it forces the gold underwater. That way you don't get any of that floating gold. You know how gold can sometimes float on the surface? Yeah. This forces it underwater so it won't float. Also, it creates a little bit of a trap here for anything that's really heavy, like nuggets. As the gold goes down into that trough, it shoots out over top. And as it shoots out over top, it comes up for a little bit and then down onto the matting, creating a very, very, very low pressure area where it shoots up and goes over top and the gold will mostly fall out right there. Because it's creating that low pressure where that, that low volume of water is going by, gold is heavy, it's gonna drop down into that, the water's gonna shoot over top a bit, and most of your gold will fall out right in that top two inches. When I ran from my mine, my hard rock mine, I ran like big buckets of stuff through here. Once I opened this up, Right through there, that little section there, was a sheet of gold. It was pure gold. There was almost an ounce worth of gold in that top little section. Now the rest of it had gold in it too, but so much of it dropped out right there. Now one thing you have to do before you run this machine is you have to prep the mats. These mats here, they like to hold air in them, and you can't have air. If there's air in them, the gold won't fall down. Now I've prepped the bottom one already. I'm just gonna do the top one while you guys watch. Just take a bit of soapy water. There's a little bit of soap on here. <laughs> and rub it into those mats. You can see right now anywhere that there was air pockets. We wanna get those little black dots out because that's where air is trapped in the mat. There we go, got those ones out. There's also something in this water called jet dry. It's the stuff you use in your dishwashers to keep uh, little spots from forming on the dishes. If you put jet dry in the water, it, it does what's called breaking the surface tension. It helps stop that floating gold. Gold doesn't fall, float on top of the water so easy if it has jet dry on it. In it, I should say. Okay, we got the map pretty good here. This top section here is just a bit of a hopper or a slick plate, somewhere for you to easily put the material on and let it flush through the system. The whole thing is run off of 12 volts, so you can run it off a of battery. And I talked to you guys before about having a bucket inside a bucket. The blue bucket's gonna catch all of the material that goes through. The water will flow into the black bucket where the pump picks it back up and funnels it back through. Let's turn this on. Okay, so you can see here the sheet of water going down, falling down there. Apparently I don't have enough water in my... Uh... <coughs> I'm gonna 
have water down below. Let me go get some more water. You can Okay, now that I have a bit more water in there, though, the pump won't dry out. It just sucked a bit of air in. The sheet of water here, going down the top, that's where you put your material. It spreads it out, takes all the light stuff away right away. It just runs through first. Then all the heavy stuff will fall down into that little trough, run over that mat, fall into another trough, run over another mat, and then down and out. You can get gold cubes with as many of these layers as you want. Typically, they have two capture layers, sometimes three. These cones are from the Fraser River. I was out there this weekend. Lots of gold in this stuff. Nice thing about the gold cubes compared to like the blue bowl or Miller table is you can run the material through it pretty quick using some of those other ways of separating the cons takes a long time. The problem with the gold cube or the drawback of the gold cube is it doesn't clean your gold. It reduces the amount of cons to... Nice! <laughs> the gold cube reduces the cons to a couple of tablespoons worth of material but you still have black sand and all the other heavies in there, and you still have to pan it out or clean it somehow afterwards. Where the blue bowl or the Miller table, they're sort of designed to clean the gold completely. We're gonna take the cons out of this, and next day we're gonna run them through the blue bowl so you can see what the, uh, blue, how the blue bowl works, and we'll clean out this gold completely. I didn't make this one, no, I bought this one. This is about a $500 machine, this one. It does, it does, it looks like them. Now this machine can run a lot of material. I could run for like an hour or more doing this before I worry about the trays actually getting so full of heavies that I'd be losing stuff. And when I was running from the mine there, I had two buckets the size of that capture bucket down there of cons that I was running through. And that looks pretty clean. Let it run for just a second to make sure all the black sand's got time to run through. And I can shut her down. Drink me for a second. Okay, now come on in close and tell me if you can see any gold in that top two inches. Yeah, oh, yeah. all like that stuff right there. Yeah. Can the camera get in nice and close and see that? Everybody's seen it just back up. Yeah, let everyone else have a look. In those top two inches, you see a few thousand pieces of gold. Huh. Now, the gold from the Fraser River is unbelievably fine. Those are just the coarse pieces you see at the top, but the mats will be loaded with lots and lots more of the stuff. I'm going to show you how we clean this up here, just a second. Where's my other bucket? I had another bucket here. Right behind you guys. Okay. To clean this up, you're going to take the trays out, you're going to carefully pour out a bit of the water, just so we don't have water going all over the place. There's some nice gold in there. You put it in a bin. Let's move over to the sink, guys, where I have a bit extra water. Come on over here, guys. You're then just going to take a hose, or you can actually even use the recirculating pump and flush the mats out on their side like this, making sure that you spray right into all of those grooves and clean everything out, right up into the top edge, right down into that tray. Clean it all out really nicely. Have a good look. Top corner. Top, oh, yeah. 
Thank you. Missed the spot. Right up there. Someone bring that next tray over, okay? Someone grab that next tray and bring it over. Can you hold this? <clears throat> I can see gold in the bottom here. Thank you, sir. Okay, put the next one in there. And again, wash it all down. Usually there's not too much gold in the second tray. The second tray is kind of there just to catch anything that may have gotten through that first one, but this stuff is really good at catching gold, so most of it will be caught in the first tray. I have hot water on right now. I'm actually burning my thumb. That's probably great. Pretty good. Can you turn the water? Put the top. Top again? Okay. Here, you can take this one too, or someone here. Water off. Pour out the extra. Okay, and that's how much is left over. Very little. Very little material that's in there. And that can just be panned out to get the gold, or as I said, next day I'm going to show you guys the blue bowl in action. We'll use this stuff in the blue bowl to show it clean up the gold perfectly. Cool? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easier than panning? By a lot. Oh, by a lot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to head down to the computer lab uh, and do some work down there right now.